hello guys um i uh, i want to make another video now uh, it's been um, a good while since uh, last time um i'm uh, maybe a bit sorry because of that because I do believe that <clears throat> God would want me to make some more videos and I've been thinking about it uh, many times but uh, I decided to postpone and postpone so there's a few things I would want to talk about, but uh, um, I will try to make this uh, video <coughs> short, a little short, try to be quick. Um, so, so, um, Well, the first thing I just want to say is that uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I've been in Norway f now for, well, almost uh, six months since I made the last video. Um, I want to say that uh, God, you know, uh, uh, just... Uh, was faithful and um, after I had after I <clears throat> after I had given my my um, you know life to serve and follow Jesus um, on this mission trip in a way I um, I was just me in my car, sleeping in my car most of the times. And um, um, that was about two, three months. So when I came to Norway, I, uh, like you say, God uh, arranged for me a hotel room um, okay I can tell you how it was I just went to the social uh, welfare office government you know I said uh, I don't have a place to stay can you have can you fix any and um, immediately they gave me a hotel room so so i lived it at the hotel for three months it was a tone tone hotel it's like uh, you know pretty decent quality and um, good hotel. so in a way you can say god rewarded me uh, I was thinking about many times I just gonna make a video to show you the hotel room and and show you like where I am and um, what, uh, what I got got this hotel room um, but I just uh, uh, postpone and postpone And uh, after three months, um, I moved to another place, which is uh, almost the same. It's like a hotel room. It's like a small apartment. Uh, so it's... Uh, 
yeah, and it's it's okay. Uh, so, anyways, there's a few things I wanna just talk about. Um, there's many things that has happened in the world since last time. There's um, been a lot of uh, natural disasters. Um, I don't. I can't talk about everybody because I don't remember everybody, and I I didn't. I didn't write them uh, down, but I did write a few of them down. And. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is Australia, which uh, suffered from uh, very much uh, forest fires. And um, they were battling this forest fire a lot. Uh, and then they was also at the same time struck with, uh, I think it was, uh, it was maybe a storm, um, uh, a hurricane or something like that, and then some hail, a hail storm, and uh, it was on the news, all of these things. It was like Australia was kind of targeted for a while. And um, um, like I had said before in my some videos before that, uh, I, I said that, uh, that we are in the end times and that um, God uh, is starting to judge nations but he's kind of warning first so all of these natural disasters are warnings but they are becoming stronger and stronger so I believe that uh, these natural disasters that are happening now and that has been happening all of these are warnings from God and like the Bible say they are um, birth uh, pains so that means they are warning about something big to come and uh, most Christians um, most born again Christians uh, know what I mean it's the end time and it's the uh, time where there will be a lot of uh, trouble destruction war famine pestilence earthquakes hail a lot of things uh, it's going to happen in the end times so uh, we can see that these things are happening now and uh, most born again Christians uh, know that uh, and agree that we are in the end time and uh, the message uh, from God is that uh, the world needs to repent it's uh, very simple you know uh, if the world repents from sin the judgment will not come on the nations okay God can uh, stop all the natural disasters 
if all the nations in the world would repent and all the people then uh, God would stop this uh, natural disasters um, but uh, unfortunately that would uh, most likely not happen the Bible clearly says that um, there will come uh, judgments and the people will not repent so there will come more judgment and the people will still not repent and there will come more judgment until there is no people left that are sinning that's what the Bible say this is very hard and radical statements but this is what the Bible say and this is the reality this is I know that this is true and uh, most born-again believers Christians they also know this or they believe this if you believe in the Bible so so um, so we're entering into a very uh, bad time and um, I am on behalf of God and Jesus Christ calling all nations and all people everywhere to repent from sin, wickedness, unrighteous acts and do what is right and believe on Jesus Christ so you need to also believe on Jesus Christ that uh, he is the Son of God because Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins and uh, Jesus Christ is uh, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords I'm also gonna talk about um, a few <clears throat> visions that I had so sometimes God gives me wishes and sometimes dreams and um, uh, so um, when it comes to the to the dreams well let's say it like that God can give wishes and dreams but the devil can also give wishes and dreams so it's actually not always easy to know at least I have not totally figured it out yet um, but uh, very many times the wishes that I get happen exactly as I see them so but sometimes the wishes that I get 
don't happen and uh, uh, I am trying to I'm still learning how to uh, distinguish between those two and so far I think that um, the ones that are from God are okay so when I wake up uh, let's say uh, from sleeping so I'm sleeping and then uh, I'm waking up and uh, in between sleeping and being awake is like that exactly as I wake as I wake up that's when I have some wishes um, and those when they are vivid and clear to me that's uh, often uh, to me a sign that they are well, that's when it seems that they are from God but sometimes I get these visions and they are not so vivid not so clear and uh, I think uh, those uh, may be not from uh, God and sometimes it's not actually easy to know if a vision I have was it, uh, clear enough or was it, um, you know, not so clear? Um, if you have been following my Facebook page, you will know that uh, you will have seen that many times uh, I've been correct when I've shared my visions. They have happened. And there are many, many times when I have shared visions, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, when I have not shared visions, and but they have happened. So I have known about it or I have prayed about it and that they are happening within a day or something like that, very often within a few days. So there are many times God gave me visions and I didn't tell anybody and then it happens so lately I've had a few of those visions one of them is that I have seen well it's about um, Iran and America I think yeah, at least Iran if some of you have followed my <clears throat> my Facebook page, I have uh, told you some time ago about missiles from Iran. There was I saw a vision of Iran sending missiles towards America, and that was all I saw. I didn't see anything more than that. And lately we have seen that, seen that uh, Iran and uh, USA have had some uh, clash. USA killed this Iranian general. And Iranians fired missile at American bases in Iraq and I think and or maybe Syria I think it was Iraq so in a way you can say my vision came true when they fired missile towards American embassy bases but I but once again I had vision after that that I uh, saw even more missiles were sent towards USA um, 
And sure enough, that actually happened uh, yesterday. And I had that wish in a, a week ago, or some of them, more than a week ago, but I didn't share it until now. And uh, also, uh, I think I ran, I saw a wish in that it seemed like I ran would attack USA with something that wasn't a missile it seemed like it could have been a, a kind of a cyber attack hack hacker attack because uh, it was like how I can explain it, it was just like they were targeting USA but I didn't see any missiles or anything it was just like they did something uh, they stretched something far to hit USA and yes uh, by the way this is the maybe the most important one um, it's still about Iran but I don't know if this vision is true and forever whom it may concern you can take it as you want it but this is the vision that I had one morning and uh, it was that um, Um, it was that um, the Iranians um, had um, It was like I saw some Iranian uh, people talking to each other and uh, saying that uh, they had uh, finished something. They have completed something uh, but it was like a secret like they have tried to do something for a long long time and they said to each other it's finally done we finally made it they have done something and then they said they were finally, now it's finally ready, or something like that. Um, I didn't see anything more than that. So, if, so this message goes to whoever, um, if anybody follow me or watch my videos, uh, this is the vision that I had so I also want to go to the next vision and it was um, um, in Philippines about Philippines uh, the volcano that they have, they have talked about in the news uh, 
and I saw this volcano. It was a quick, short vision. So I cannot hundred uh, percent. I cannot say for sure, <clears throat> with very certainty, that this is a vision from God. Because the devil is trying to fool me uh, many times. But I saw the volcano and like I saw the mountain. Because they also said that on the news that the volcano could uh, have an eruption and the mountain would fall off. And I saw that this mountain would f actually fall off. So it was a short vision and uh, not so very... Not totally clear. So this message would go to the to anybody in Philippines that um, stay away from the volcanic mountain and uh, repent and pray to Jesus. And what was it more? Oh yes, a few other visions that I saw uh, some prophetic um, visions. Um, I, it's like I heard the word, it's coming a wave of terror. So it's like they're coming a, wa a wave of terror on Western countries. And I also saw. Um, felt like I saw an, uh, an airplane being hijacked coming from Afghanistan or some area down there some country going to a western country and I don't know which one but I just uh, saw the airplane like and I saw uh, some terrorists inside the airplane and uh, that uh, suddenly I saw like they have managed to get into the position and uh, in the airplane it was uh, you know on their way to the target so um, I urge Western governments to watch out for this situation and I also urge you who are watching to pray um, against these things so um, so let's see what's gonna happen but uh, all I can do is just uh, to share the wishes that I have and sometimes and uh, we'll see if uh, uh, they they happen or not. Of course, sometimes they don't happen because they was prevented because uh, we prayed or somebody prayed or or because uh, I warned about them, so they was prevented. So we can't always know for sure. Anyways. Um, I hope I'll be making um, 
amor de Dios um, and that uh, some things will happen soon in my life again and I can uh, start making some more videos and be active so now I have spent some I think it's, uh, I don't know this video, the length of it, but I think I need to uh, come to an end of this video um, so I just want to say thank you for uh, watching and if you have any questions, feel free to uh, send me an email or a message or, a, or a, a comment on the video so God bless you and uh, see you uh, next time. Bye bye.